Okay, so in this video, we're going to install the end cap to the module. Um, I'm going to go through the different components. We have the end cap here and the O-rings that come with the module. And these are the two clamps that hold the end cap to the module. We need the Allen key that's provided with the unit again. And you need to use the four long bolts. We also have the little sachet of grease and some paper towel for cleaning and these are rubber gloves and uh, you also need the torque wrench for this and of course the module as well this little plastic is the spacer for the bottom of the cup and uh, we'll get to that later so the first thing we need to do is open the module packaging Next we need to wear the gloves. The pipe here that you can see on the end of the module needs to remain very clean. You will need to apply grease to the tip of the pipes here before you insert it into the your spring head itself and also apply grease to the two o-rings as we'll now demonstrate. You need to be careful that you don't apply too much grease to the tips as it can damage the membrane. Then you need to apply grease to the o-rings to help them seal. After applying the grease you can lay one o-ring in the bottom cup itself or bottom or the end cap we call it. You just insert the o-ring carefully down into the cap. And the other o-ring gets inserted into the yule spring head itself from the bottom. And by applying the grease to it, it will stick in the groove. It's important to make sure that the o-ring is seated correctly. Okay. 
At this point you're finished with the grease, so you can remove the gloves. The next step is to install the end cap to the actual module. So keep the end cap on a table or flat surface and simply put the module on top. Use the two clamps to fix the end cap to the module. The bolt should be, of course, done up evenly. The maximum torque that you can apply to the bolt is 5 Newton meters, and this is why you need to use a torque wrench. As you can see, 5 Newton meters is not a lot of force. Finally, you can install the little gap plug or spacer plug to ensure that you get the correct distance off the wall at the bottom of the unit. Okay, and now we are ready to insert the module into the Yospring head itself. 